Okay, so this is my first time trying to live stream to Facebook. And I want to see if this is something that I can do um, while I'm demonstrating how to use the Do Ink Animation app, which means I want to see if I can share my screen and show you some of my tricks. Okay, so, so far it's looking good. Hopefully it's looking good for you. Um, I'm in the Do Ink green screen app right now. And I have two of my layers filled. I clicked plus and added a photo of blue for my bottom layer. Then on the second layer, I clicked plus and brought in a video for, um, it's a green screen video. And when I did that, I cropped it and I made sure that the chroma key was enabled. So it automatically took my grain away. Now, what you're gonna see is a tiny little clip of me waving. So I thought I would show you today how to add animation over this so that when I say hi, you can see my animated word, hi. Okay, pretty simple. So I'm gonna go to that top layer and click plus and choose create a new animation. So while I'm here, I'm gonna be using my Apple Pencil and then drawing on my iPad. I'm gonna choose a brush size somewhere around five. And I'm gonna use a um, hmm, color that'll show up like red. You know what, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna make that actually bigger, like around 10. All right, so I'm gonna just scrub out the word hi. And when I mean scrub it out, it's just going to look hand drawn. I'm not going to be super precise about it because I think this is the look I want to go with. Like, kind of like I just drew it kind of look. Now I'm going to repeat this. So I'm going to go down to the bottom where you can see my first frame is high. So I'm going to just click a plain plus, which now I can see where my original frame for the word was. And now I'm going to redraw it with a slight, hmm, well, I'm going to be slightly off. And the reason why I'm slightly off is it's going to create a little wiggle and movement. So I'm not exactly tracing it. So I'm glad to have that ghost image because then it shows me where the previous picture was. So I have two now, hi and hi. And I have a very short clip, so I might be done. So what I'm gonna do is go to my gear at the top and I'm looking at my frame rate and it's defaulting to 15 frames per second. That's super fast. Do you wanna see how fast that is? I'm gonna hit play. Whoa. That's too fast. So I'm gonna slow it down and see what it'd be like if it were six frames per second. That's fine. Now I'm gonna see what it'd be like if it was four. Is that too slow? Not too bad. So I'm gonna click done. And now it's in my layer. So you can see it on my timeline. It's five seconds long. I don't want five seconds. I actually want it to be exactly lined up. So I'm going to drag that edge to where it seems exactly lined up. I'm going to go back to the green part of that animation. That's the beginning. And I'm going to use two fingers and I'm going to move it to a space. Then I'm going to just kind of scrub through. Oh, my hand overlaps it. So I'm going to change it, but I don't want to change it until I'm back at the beginning of that animation. When I'm at the green spot, that's where I have freedom to change it. If I change it anywhere else, I'm actually creating an animation path and it'll move in a strange way. 
So once I'm here, I'm going to just click play and test it. Okay, so I'm not sure I want the word hi to be there before I actually say hi. So I'm going to change the timing of it. Um, right there is the moment hi should show up. So now when I hit play, hi, and I'm done. All right, now I've got a couple choices for how to save this. I can export it as a movie, but the new version of this app allows you to export it as a gift. A GIF. That means you can stick this in your Twitter feed, you can put it on your website, and it'll just play continuously. So if I export it as a GIF, it looks like that. Now, I can save that, but here's another really cool way to save it. What if I got rid of this background? Let me tap on it, delete that background. How does that look now? Now, if I go back to video, I want to show you this. Video setting. Am I looking in the right place? Um, video format. Yep. There's a bunch of different kinds of video formats to choose. If you choose the transparency, then this can become a transparent video that you can use on your, your Keynote app or you can use it to set up for um, a whole bunch of different things, but it's not generally accepted format yet. So it works on Apple products, but what I can do is make it a transparent GIF and that will be accepted everywhere. So look at what this could look like. Yep, there's no background. Isn't that cool? All right, I'm going to just save it and click done. All right, so this is my first stream. I hope, hopefully it was helpful. And um, reach out to me and let me know if you watch this or leave a comment so I can know what to do differently in the future or what you might want to see. Okay, all right, let's.